for having the integrity to confront some of our millionaire moguls and those who are behind them with the sternness of an elder, yet the love of a leader. Our history cannot be hijacked by the current culture. We are more than that. Mustafa reminded us when he talked to his son Simba in The Lion King, Simba running with hedgehogs and warthogs and eating grubs, and he appeared in a vision very similar to Bill Jones, appeared to his son and said, Simba, you are more than what you have become. You are more than as you carry yourself jailing around. You are more than this. We have come over a way that has been water with the tears and the blood and the sweat of the slaughter. We've survived genocide, the systematic destruction of the body through the Middle Passage. We have survived infanticide, the systematic destruction of the young, the Tuskegee experiments. We have even survived infratricide, which is the systematic of crabs pulling one down as they try to get out of the barrel. But most importantly, Dr. Bobby Wright said a few years ago, our most devastating now effect is menticide, the systematic destruction of the mind, where we become celebratory of ignorance. Have you noticed how we celebrate and often commemorate ignorance in our society? It is only now that I understand why my parents had a difficult time when I was laughing in front of Amos and Annie. How funny I thought it was, but they understood that there was another subliminal message being sent that we're shifting and shaking and shuffling around. I heard this preacher say that if we're not going to do more than that, we might as well have a picture of buckwheat up on the wall. Take Martin Luther King down and put buckwheat in his place because we have not become serious about the systems of this world. I wish I had time. Most of us here, especially these honorees, did not ascend from privilege, but they came from an environment that said, you need not be born with a silver spoon in your mouth in order to make a sterling contribution. We learned lessons from those who may not have matriculated in these major universities, but they taught us that poverty is no excuse for criminality. Because you can be low income without being low class. You can be unlettered without being unlearned. And it's never where you're from, but where you're headed that makes the difference in this world. You see, the issues that confront us are legion. Check cashing joints, payday mortgage loans, predatory lenders, ominous crime bill, natural reverberations, reverse redlining. What Michelle Alexander speaks to, the new Jim Crow, mass incarceration in the age of color blindness, the bailed out who feel it unnecessary to bail out those they've left underwater. The issues are legion. How can any sane and sincere person honestly make an accessible argument and debate the need for health care for all Americans? How is it possible for some who invite you to tea to retire off union benefits and then join the union busters. There must be a counter, and thank God for the counter to the commentary of the Limbaugh's, the Becks, the Hannity's, the Elders, the Connolly's, those who have the luxury of opinion without the responsibility of thought. We thank God that someone is raising up a new mind. 